All right, everyone, it is Dokkan time again, and today's how to builds are going to be for the Easy Aid Xenopan and God Trunks. So, uh, they have received new Easy A's as of November of 2024. So, if you're watching this at a later date, I apologize, but these units are no longer available after November of 2024 as the Hero Celebration has ended. So, um, but if you just pulled these during this month or at whatever time or maybe in the future, they magically threw these onto the uh, the banners, uh, the banner pools, and people are able to get these at any point in time. That would be fantastic. Anyways, um, so Pan is who we're going to uh, go through first. Um, she's relatively simple, I believe, uh, and I think uh, nobody's going to argue with this build on the right side of the screen. Uh, she does have other 200% options, but with the way her kit is designed, she is primarily a crossover um, Dragon Ball Heroes supportive unit, and that is primarily where she will stay. Um, she has a crossover 170 lead, though, which is very good, actually. It's very nice. Um, greatly raises attack and defense, and she has a 50% chance to stun. Uh, she has attack and defense of 140% plus an additional attack and defense of 70% when forming a super. She gives crossover category allies key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40%. So crossover allies, she's a 40% support. Plus an additional attack and defense of 20% for characters who also belong to heroes category. So that means that a, a Dragon Ball Heroes unit will be at 60% support from this pan. Uh, she has a 70% chance to crit, which is weird, but okay. <laughs> she also has a 70% chance to dodge. Um, plus an additional defense plus 70% within the same turn with each attack evaded. Um, so the way that this mechanic works, and we're going to get into this later with her defense calculations, is that she does get 70% defense after each attack evaded. So basically, you know, 70% and then 140%, and then 210% defense, which is pretty crazy. But she has to dodge, um, and she has to do it every single turn. <laughs> so if she doesn't dodge every single turn, she's not getting that defense. So this is every single turn. So her defense can scale from being super high to super low. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense is 70%. And all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 15% per crossover category ally self-excluded attacking in the same turn. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have read that correctly. This unit <laughs> supports crossover allies by 30% crit chance. That is insane. Um, so long as you have a full rotation. So if you have two other crossover allies on the same turn, um, then that's 15% per so that's 30% total crit given to other allies, which is absolutely insane, um, I have to say. Uh, no, she does not support an additional 70% attack and defense. She gets an additional attack and defense plus 70%. Uh, she has Innocence, All in the Family, Battle Diva, Patrol, Saiyan Lineage. Um, honestly, these links are all very fine and dandy for a, a floating-esque support unit. Um, she is on several other categories, but I do not think you would ever really use her outside of crossover, time travelers, and heroes. Um, I think you could potentially use her um, on some of these other categories, uh, but it'd be very random. And she'd still be, well, dodge or die. Uh, she's going to link with, obviously, the other pan. <laughs> the other pan from Super, uh, the best but at the same time, I don't see at any point in time why you would run these two together. I just don't I don't see the the purpose or the reasoning for it. Um, but yeah, you're, you're not going to really go for a, a link ally with her. She's not going to ever have her links really going off too much. Oops, sorry about that. Um, but anyways, let's just go take a look at her defense compliments of Halvard. So as I said before, her defense goes up based on how many times she uh, dodges. Well, uh, he encompasses this very well with the fact that after she evades three times, she can get up to 1.7 million defense on one super and then 2.3 million defense on a double super. Um, the thing to keep in mind here is, is that more than likely she is the only support in the attacking rotation. So yes, she can get to 2.5 million defense with another support other than herself on the rotation, 
it's just very unlikely you'll do that. I think the, the most likely normal case scenario is you're going to run a hero's team. You're going to put Pan in slot one or three if you want to dodge or die in slot one or if you want to just float her and have her support randomly. Um, you know, you'll get one super off. She'll potentially gar or she'll potentially dodge once or twice and she'll probably be around the defense margin of mm, probably about 1.5 million defense. Maybe a little bit lower. It depends on your dupes. Um, but yeah, so she's still a dodger die. You know, we, we're at a different meta in the game. And, you know, even 2 million defense isn't enough because we're starting to get to a regular uh, point of 3 million and even some crazy bosses that are higher on that. So she's still dodger die. Um, but she's still very good. You know, she's tanking normals, which is good post super. Uh, it's just, you just got to really keep in mind, she has to dodge to get her defense built up. Um, beforehand so it's either slot one and dodge or die and hope that she dodges a lot and gets her defense built up or you throw her into slot three and just float her with support so um now let's move on to trunks which i feel like is the main reason a lot of people potentially clicked on this video and are maybe wondering how to build him um in my personal opinion he's very good um he does have some good damage i will say i will tell you right now at rainbow on our heroes team with support uh, five out of uh, six, uh, yeah, about five out of seven links. You can see a damage ratio of about 15 mil. And then double, triple supering, potentially quad supering. You know, he can get in the perfect, craziest scenario. You could get him almost up to 18 or 19, 20 million supers. Um, I don't think you'll see 20 million almost ever unless you're abusing items. Uh, but yeah. So let's just go take a look at his kit. Um, he is a 200%. He does have 200% options, but he has to be on a full time traveler or full heroes team. Has to be. Has to. Or you will have you'll have a significant decrease in his damage and defense. So I would honestly say the only teams you can really do that on are, of course, heroes teams. And then... <laughs> we Saiyans have no limits meme and then of course the uh, physical sort of hope trunks as a leader I think those would be your only real options uh, I think a majority of people are just going to straight up you know throw him onto heroes units teams but if you're feeling spicy and you really want to try and make a full time traveler team with the We Saiyans have no limits AGL Goku and uh, Vegeta blue right there um, you can attempt to do that. But, as you're about to read... So, greatly raise attack and defense, and seals super attacks. I still love the fact that he seals. Um, key plus one, attack and defense per Dragon Ball Heroes or Time Traveler category ally on the team. So, that means that if you want to be able to get him at a maximum amount of um, attack and defense, you have to have a full team of uh, Dragon Ball Heroes or Time Travelers. I have not currently tested if he if he like missed out on one time traveler unit. Um, you know, I, I haven't really tested that. I don't think it would be too bad, but I will tell you 50% is quite a bit. 50% attack and defense could be quite a bit. And 100% attack and defense could be a very large amount, and it might not even be worth running him after that point. So just keep that in mind if you decide to mix him onto other teams. Plus an additional attack and defense of 100% and great chance of performing a critical hit when performing a super. So that means every time he's performing a super attack, he always has a 70% chance to crit. You know what my motto is. If a unit has built-in crit, they don't need it in their hidden potential. So he has a 70% chance to crit. Therefore, he has no reason to have it put into his hidden potential. Um... Plus an additional defense plus 50% when performing a super and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres if all allies attacking in the same turn are Dragon Ball heroes or time travelers category. So this is once again another instance of where if you're going to run him off of not on a heroes team, um, it's very imperative that it's a full time travelers because that rainbow orb changing helps immensely um, in my personal opinion. Um, orb changers are great. I love orb changers, and rainbow orb changers are even better, especially when it comes down to LRs. Um, this could be a useful mechanic if we get any other time traveler, um, you know, LRs in the future. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. 
He also does launch an additional two attacks, each of which has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack if all allies are Dragon Ball Heroes or Time Travelers category of characters. So once again, you need to... you. This is the part that really, really forces you to have a full Time Traveler or Heroes team because otherwise you're not getting the additionals off. And if you're not getting the additionals off, I'm sorry to say, but this Trunks is just going to be very underwhelming. Um, he has Warrior God, Super Saiyan, Gold Judgment, Patrol, Prepare for Battle, Godly Power. I'm going to tell you all right now, more than likely you're not going to have Cold Judgment active, and um, very few times will you have Warrior Gods go off. You could have Godly Power going off quite a bit on uh, Heroes, just because of Mechibura and uh, even Super Saiyan 3 Rose will activate that. Super Saiyan 3 Rose is actually a very good um, Link battery for him. Um, unfortunately, and hilariously, um, his best Link partner is not on either Time Travelers or Heroes. So, um, hopefully one day we'll maybe get a leader where we can stick these two on the same team. Um, maybe that day will happen when God Goku gets an easy A. But as of the time of writing, this is not an option. Uh, but... As I said, Goku and Vegeta are a good uh, link partner for him. Uh, slot 1, preferably. You know, full dodge unit. But, you know, you're getting a lot of his attack links off, so you'll be able to see some good damage numbers when linked with them. Um, other than that, he's better off just kind of linking with other heroes units. And as I said, Super Saiyan 3 Rose is probably one of his better link partners just because Prepared for Battle, Godly Power, um, and Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle um, are all activated all at once, and then you'd have Pan floating or some form. Um, that's about it for his breakdown of his kit. Let's just go take a look at his defense and get everything wrapped up. So once again, compliments to Harvard. Uh, his defense on a full Heroes or Time Traveler team. Um, start of turn defense is only like 270. So very low start of turn defense. He is not a slot 1 unit. Um, defense post super, after 1 super, he's at 1 mil. That's pretty decent. Uh, 1.1 with uh, support. Um, you know, double super, 1.3, 1.4, just really depends on what who you have on rotation, what links you got going off. Uh, triple super, 1.6, 1.8, it really depends on if you have support and the links going off. And then if you magically quad super, um, you can get up to a 2 million defense uh, margin. And I will say, and so will, uh, so will Halvard, if you can magically get the cold judgment activated, then you can get him almost up to 2.5 million defense. So uh, He's got good defense potential, but he has to additional. So this is why my build suggestion is just give the fool additional. Um, as for most heroes units, I do often suggest that you do give the bronze orb a HP orb. I suggest the HP orb primarily because um, heroes unit, there's no LRs on the heroes teams. So um, you're lacking HP quite a bit usually below 600k HP, which is very low, especially in this day and age, and could get you just one-shotted instantly in a lot of instances. So, anyways, guys, let me know how you decide to build Trunks and Pan, and I hope you have a good day and a good night.